No, 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 you're probably not going to be able to see this because I can't actually see it through the monitor. But well, I'm. I, let me rephrase this. You may not be able to see the screen uh, all that well. <clears throat> well, as you guys know, I uh, stuck an antenna out there, and it's drooping more which tells me it's starting to straighten out and it's also raining out but anyway that has nothing to do with the droop uh, the drooping could be two things the paracord is stretching out which is normal uh, because I never washed it and dried it if you want to shrink your cord before you use it just kind of wash it and dry it but meanwhile <coughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that with a thousand foot roll because it would be a pain in the ass to unravel. But meanwhile, um, it is drooping. So, I wanted to figure out what the SWRs are on this radio with that antenna. So, this is telling me measuring SWRs right here. Which, again, because we're overexposed, you may or may not be able to see it. It's like my lens is getting dirty, doesn't it? So, it tells you at this point to go into a certain point of the testing and the setup, which I had done. And down here it's on SWR. So basically, when I key the mic, let me get my finger out of the way. When I key the mic, this here, that I don't know if you're seeing those lines go up and down or not. That's just an incoming signal. When I key the mic, the less that moves, the better. Now, it says in the book that it really wouldn't want to see you go much above 1 to 1.5, which is right about there, right about under that 3 mark. So we're going to key the radio and see. Bingo. We are a 1 to 1.1. 1 .1. Not bad for a real quick throw-together homemade antenna out of copper. <laughs> Out of a copper roll basically I don't know what you call that stuff copper tubing or whatever I know there's a name for it but I don't know what it is um, so anyway there you are there you have it it works so I've got an antenna now that I don't mind uh, finishing off and hanging up and stretching out and working on it and doing what I have to do now I don't know actually if the SWRs are good however that doesn't actually tell me on how well it's going to transmit and receive so I'll find that out during the week when uh, things are a little bit, uh, uh, what's the word, busy. Because there's a couple of nets that I kind of hang on. So I'll be able to uh, see what it does versus this one with the uh, store-bought antennas. <coughs> so that's where we're at, guys.